Hey Libra, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ana Eilina. We're going to tap into your seven day predictions, love messages, and career and earthly abundance. Everything will be time stamped down below for your convenience. I appreciate you guys being here, allowing me to read for you. And I pray these messages find you well, hope, and heal. All right, let's tap into it. What is the overall energy for a Libra? Next seven days. Let's check the vibe. All right, you have raw with share your gift. I feel like you had that recently as well. So it's still kind of in this energy. Um, spirit saying of expressing yourself, of putting yourself more out there. I'm hearing the, the word being bold. All right, so two of swords in the sun. You're having a lot of... Um, opportunities to put yourself out there like the universe is giving you the choice though all right so that makes me feel like i was just about to say you called something in with the magician card a new experience a new way of life but it also requires you to become a new kind of libra you know so some of you are coming out of the shadows all right next seven days for the libra you have the five of cups in reverse and this could have to do with healing something maybe that was why yep yeah. The four of wands some of you have um healed or on the cusp of healing some very deep family issues okay that used to plague you yes judgment that used to keep you really stuck stagnant um in a bubble secluded isolated yeah you have the three of cups here and you have the star so some of you are coming into new friendships that are helping you heal um some of you are finding your soul tribe and that's helping you heal that's making you feel more comfortable and more safe enough to come out okay the nine of pentacles is your energy with the six of pentacles Okay, and the Emperor, nice. North Node coming out in your energy. So I feel like this is a big turnaround, maybe from some past energies that I feel like I just read for you guys. Knight of Swords in the Star card. You are putting that inner critic in check. You're putting that inner critic in its place, or better yet, telling that inner critic or whatever those self-defeating thoughts are that it's not your voice, okay? So it feels like with this Four of Wands, Five of Cups in reverse and judgment, you have been getting other people's voices out of your head those voices that you know like i said kept you in fear kept you stuck kept you stagnant in some type of past cycle where you would just i'm hearing um you know like when you're cranking up a car that's what they're showing me and it's just and the the transmission is never clicking you know keeping you stuck you know false starts because you would hear these voices and you would believe them in your head, meaning that inner critic, those self-defeating thoughts. Um, so for you, it feels like that started in um, childhood. Okay, or with some type of family dynamic. Clarify the five of cups in reverse. Yes, all right. The two of cups here. So this could be from parents, the hierophant, that's a marriage, okay? Three of cups here. It could also be that it did it that a recent relationship that you just closed out opened that trigger back up it opened that wound up okay and i heard it bled badly okay but that is because metaphorically right that is because it was time for this this wound to come to the surface and this wound to be healed okay and it really puts you in your power with the emperor here like i just feel like that is very complimentary of this raw energy with um sharing your gift so this is beautiful um Eight of Pentacles out here. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Ace of Swords in reverse. So you might not be understanding why certain things are happening. That's what I'm saying the challenge is with this energy. The Chariot and the Eight of Wands. Whatever the case, though, you need to keep moving forward, okay? Some of you might not understand the... Um, depth of importance to healing this wound okay so some of you might feel like you are still cycling through shit that you felt like you healed that you were over okay clarity's coming it might not make sense but keep putting in the work because what this is showing me look the chariot and the eight of wands things are moving forward and they're moving faster than you think or rather than your you know 3d eyes can see you have the ten of swords here and the eight of cups so it's like behind this movement okay there is accelerated healing okay that's why i said with that when i saw that two of swords it feels like the universe is giving you a lot of opportunities 
okay, to choose differently. And I feel like these opportunities, how spirit is presenting it, is two options. You stay in this bubble that that is represents comfort for you, Libra, or you go, you come out of the bubble, you come out of the cave, you come out into the world where you might feel a little bit uncomfortable because you've been in that bubble for a long time. But outside of this bubble is a whole new world that is ready to be offered to you. Okay. Uh, what's the guy? Let's do this energy. Four of Pentacles in reverse. The hangman. So you have to trust um, the growth that you have experienced. And there's the Ten of Pentacles here. Oh, you don't have to wait for anybody anymore. That's what Spirit is saying. Page of Wands, the Ace of Cups. Because you healed a lot of these familial energies, you know, like family, childhood wounds and things like that. There is this, feels like this last mental piece where you guys are kind of like um, purging this last mental piece where you could still be stuck in the last little bit of that programming. And it's like you're having these aha moments where you're realizing like, wait a minute. I don't have to do that anymore. Like, wait, I'm in the, I'm in the new reality now. You know, it's, it's like aha moments of like, wait a minute. I don't have that restriction anymore because really these restrictions seemed very much like mental restrictions that you were believing. And so because you believed it and put that much belief and emotion behind these thoughts and feelings, it manifested as you feeling stagnant or stuck. Okay. Last guidance. Okay, the moon in reverse in the Eight of Pentacles. So the emotional triggering, okay, is what you're working on. Yes, the temperance. So it feels like for some of you, that's the last piece this week. It's either emotional for some of you guys or that mental trigger. Okay, so watch how you are reacting to things. All right, watch how you're reacting to things. And, and what I mean by that, that's going to be different for each of you. So you really have to use your discernment, okay? Whether it is you, somebody who never spoke up for themselves, well, maybe the universe is pushing you to do that this week. Somebody who used to fly off the handle for every single remark, maybe the universe is testing you on that this week, okay? But whatever the case is, the universe is showing me like you are getting lots of opportunities to fast track your path at this time. Okay. Um, let's go into love messages for Libra Spirit. Eight of Wands in reverse. The High Priestess. Some of you dealing with the Piscean. And the Knight of Wands here. Death card and the Two of Swords. Some of you dealing with the Scorpio energy. The general energy that I see when this comes out is like somebody might know something is just like a sexual attraction or a sexual experience with the Eight of Wands in reverse. Two of Wands here. I don't think that somebody truly believes that something can go forward in a serious way. Two of Swords and the Three of Pentacles here. So let's uh, discern your energy from this. Libra. The Ten of Swords. Okay. The moon in reverse again. So emotional trigger and love. Okay. And the queen of wands. I think Libra, you need to stop asking yourself. Well, I think this is, this could be about, okay. Six of pentacles, seven of cups. Yeah. So Libra, I feel like your God's spirit wants you to stop questioning yourself. Okay. Why does it have to be you? You know what I'm saying? Why? Do you have to be, you know, the pro? Why does something have to be wrong with you? Why do you have to feel like you're missing something? Because these motherfuckers can't see your work. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm getting here. And I'm not going to lie. Um, some of you could be dealing with the Cancerian. Okay. What are we connecting to here? Now, if it's not somebody specifically, this spirit is describing is the archetype of people that you have dealt with romantically and how you have felt in those situations three of cups the star this could be an aquarius that you're dealing with the fool here could be an aries so okay ten of swords and the five of pentacles if you have history with this person they have hurt you before it feels like they're showing up they are showing up in a light energy um it is fun with the fool the you know the star the three of cups maybe y'all separated for some time and, and it's coming back around but you want to make sure you're in good energy too you know what i'm saying you want to make sure that you're getting what you need out the situation as well so let's see what what do they want here with um 
Libra. We get one very clearly, please. Thank you. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. The Eight of Cups. And the Two of Swords in reverse here. Nine of Cups. The Ace of Wands. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. The Two of Pentacles. King of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. This person has a very confusing energy, okay, when it comes to what they want. Two of Swords in reverse, Two of Pentacles. This person might just want to date right now, have fun. I don't know if they're framing it like it's just you and them or if you are, you have emotions still tied to this person or being in a relationship and, and you're putting that on it. Um, what do you want here? Hangman in reverse. You're growing impatient. And so, yeah, so I'm already hearing it. What was that? Six of Wands in reverse. And the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, King of Wands in the Tower. This, okay. I feel like Spirit is saying you can't, you, you're not going to be able to control this person or what they want or what they want to do or anyone for that matter as far as a relationship is concerned. Spirit really wants you to turn that energy inward, Libra. Okay, you really have to believe that you have valuable things to offer someone. Okay, um, I, I just did a short message for you all about, you know, you being more than your things. And okay, um, it, this belief has to come from within. It has to come from within. It can't be the responsibility of a partner or somebody else to place value upon you because I'm going to tell you, Muff, this is going to, <laughs> their value that they put on you is, is not going to be even half of what the universe values, how the universe values you. So if you put that in somebody else's hands, they're going to disappoint you every time. What's the guidance here? The nine of pentacles, self-value, Libra, self-value, Okay. And the Five of Cups here with the Ace of Cups. So I feel like don't be hard on yourself too if you really fell for somebody and you feel like they did not fall for you or whatever the case is. Take that time. Actually take that. Libra, Spirit is guiding me to tell you to do like a journal entry. Okay, please write down the things that you value about yourself. The things that you think are valuable about you. Um, and Spirit saying, really, don't judge yourself. Just write down whatever comes out. And really pay attention to what you write on there. You know, is it more about your things and accomplishments? Like, oh, I have a great job and I got a promotion, you know? Or is it, you know, I, I'm a caring person. I literally will give somebody my last. Like, you know, really, really weigh those out, okay? I know that can seem like a basic journal entry, but I think you could get something out of it. I don't think Spirit would tell me that for no reason, okay? Let's go ahead and get into career and earthly abundance because um, spirit wants you to see something very plainly. Okay, very plainly. Sometimes we all have, well, I, have, I have blind spots, you know, sometimes we have blind spots that we just can't see or put our finger on. And so I hope I can help you with that. Okay, career and earthly abundance for Libra. You got the Ten of Swords, came out kind of wonky. I don't know, we'll get an extra card. I usually just do three, but we'll do four there. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Ten of Cups. Okay. <laughs> the Fool and the Emperor. Some of you are going solo dolo. Some of you are opening a business. Okay. That Three of Pentacles is in reverse and the Seven of Pentacles in, re in reverse, which makes the Ten of Pentacles. You have Ten, Ten, Ten out here, which makes three. Okay. Then you have the Emperor and the Fool, this Aries energy, North Node. I love to see that in your reading because that's where the North Node is. South Node is in Libra. So let's just, I just want to say Libra, like you're moving through very difficult energies of growth, a lot of pain, a lot of letting things go, but you're doing it. Like North Node is all through your reading. So like, just that's what's up. That's what's up. Proud of you if no one's told you. Okay. Um, yeah, Three of Pentacles in reverse, though. This is a contract that is, it could be ending with the Ten of Swords out here. I feel like you're happy, okay? The Ten of Cups. Um, the Emperor and the Fool. This is definitely more 
um, control over your work, career, what you do for money, what you do to attain earthly abundance. The emperor and the fool, like that that's something new and that that is putting you in like a boss position okay high priestess okay get cups and cards okay and the eight of swords here this could be that you turn something down libra so even if like so say for instance you're not leaving a job you could be turning down something because it's given too good to be true and your intuition is telling you something okay ace of swords here and the two of pentacles so some of you could actually be turning down uh an offer and not be feeling bad about it you know what i'm saying like not be you know, upset about it. I feel like you keep your happiness with the Ten of Cups. And for some of you, it could be something like, um, maybe you are already like an entrepreneur or you do your own thing or you have your own business or something. Somebody's like, you know, let me buy your brand. I'll pay you this for your product. And you're like, I know this is worth way more than it. You know what I'm saying? It could be something along those lines. Just trying to give you a couple examples, you know, try to practicalize it. <laughs> um, Okay, the moon coming out of the challenge in this area of your life. The four of pentacles, okay, and the nine of pentacles here. So it's about being hesitant maybe to invest in something that you're not sure is going to give you a return. Yes, the five of pentacles. Thank you for confirmation. And the lovers here. So mm -hmm. what is the outcome of that energy? Five of Cups, yeah, and the King of Pentacles. You're right. Your intuition is right. You feel like somebody can't deliver something or something's too good to be true or, you know, yeah, Nine of Cups and the Six of Pentacles here. What's the guidance for Libra? Temperance in reverse. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This is a lesson. And the Ten of Pentacles upright. You have all the Tens out here. Well, that's the Ten of Pentacles that was made with the Three of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles that we first got. So that's cool that that's ending your reading. Page of Swords and the Four of Swords here. So your big theme this week is more about trusting yourself, Libra. Okay, really trusting yourself. So the universe is going to test you in career and earthly abundance. All right, it's going to be different for everybody, but it feels like... Um, if it's not gelling right, like if it's not a resounding, everything is like, yes, yes, yes. Don't jump into it because you have the eight of swords out here. Okay. There's more you need to see if anything, right? I'm not saying, you know, tell the people no or whatever it is, or make it be a definite no, but there's more you need to see. Don't let anybody pressure you and take your time. All right, that's what I have for you, Libra. I appreciate you. I pray these messages find you well, help and heal, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.